All right, so this is the setup and demo video for the Jailbot Discord bot. Before we get started, I will tell you that if you're having persistent issues, uh, especially with permissions, with how involved this bot is, I would suggest giving the bot administrator permissions. If you're not okay with that, then just follow along with the video and I'll show you how. All right, so we're gonna start with the setup first. So if you click the top down GG link I have in this video description, you will be directed to this page. First thing you're going to want to do is click the big invite button and invite it to your server. So just select your server, hit continue, and then authorize. Now if you go back to your server, you'll see that Jailbot has joined, and it has created a staff commands channel, a tickets channel, and a jail category. It will also create a jail inmate and jail mod role when it joins, and the jail mod role is for people that you would like to use the release and jail commands and the jail inmate role will be assigned to jail inmates. To start off, if you want to go to your staff commands channel, you can use the setup command. This is just going to run through everything we need to configure for our first time setup. If you have not given the bot administrator permissions, you will likely see something like this. And what this means is that you need to disable the view channels permission for the jail inmate role on each of the categories and channels that it lists. This is because it does not have permissions if it's not an administrator to manage the permissions for these private categories and private channels. So let's show you how to do that. Up here you'll see that I have the private get category and private chat here. So if you right click on the category, edit category, go to permissions, hit this plus button and then do jail inmate. Disable the view channels permission then hit save. That's all you need to do. I'm just going to go ahead and copy that exact method for the other channel that is specified here. Now if we go back to staff commands and run slash setup again, you'll see that setup uh, runs successfully. So first thing we're going to have to do is set a time zone. Uh, just hit yes to showing a whole bunch of time zones that are going to load in here. Just give it a second. Once this is populated, go ahead and select your time zone. Mine's right at the bottom here, so I'll put in 582 in the chat. It'll say it has been set, and then it will ask me if I want to set a channel where jail notifications will be sent for the whole server to see. I'm going to hit yes. It's going to ask you to mention the channel. I'm going to go ahead and put it in main chat. It will also ask you if you want to enable and create the dispute sentence channel so inmates can see and discuss their sentence with jail mods. I'm going to hit yes as well. Next, it'll ask you if you want to enable jail voting. I will also like to enable that. I would like to send jail votes to main chat as well. And the required number of votes to require, I'm sorry, the required number of votes to jail a member, I will put as two, but you can put as many as you want. And that's it for the setup. Uh, keep in mind, you will have to have the jail mod role assigned to anyone that you would like to run the slash jail and slash release commands. All right, so that's it for the setup. Let's go ahead and get right into the demo. So for the demo, I'm really only going to be focusing on the jail, release, and start jail vote commands. The rest of these commands up here are really just individual commands that are all within the setup command. So you can either run the setup command again to reconfigure all of these, or you can run the individual commands such as resetting the time zone, or enabling or disabling the dispute sentence channel or the jail vote. So right now, let's go ahead and start with the slash jail command and do an example of that. So if we come back to our staff commands channel and run the jail command, it'll ask for a member and a reason. I'm going to go ahead and give it one of my testing accounts that I've created and just put a reason as testing. So it will say that I need the jail mod role to run this command. So if I just assign myself a jail mod role real quick, we can rerun this command. And you'll see that it executes successfully. So we have different times. Uh, I'm just going to choose five minutes, but you choose whatever you want. So it's going to say that Mr. Medicom testing has been jailed. And then if we go up to the main chat here that we have specified as our jail notifications channel, you have see, you'll have you see that the notification that's sent is said Mr. Medicom testing has been jailed for five minutes. So this is what the rest of the server is going to see. Now if we go to our tickets, you'll see that a ticket has been created for this person. So created for Mr. Medicom testing, serving time, um, reason testing will be released in five minutes. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the Mr. Medicom testing account that was actually jailed, you'll see that 
this is all they can see within the server is the jail category with the tickets and dispute sentence channel. They do not have permissions to send messages in the tickets channel, but they can send messages within the dispute sentence channel. And they can talk with mods and do whatever they want in here, but this is all they can see. The next command that I would like to show you is the release command. This will release an inmate early. So if we go back to our staff commands channel and we run the slash release command, I'm going to try and do it on someone who has not been jailed. So there you'll tell you that they have not been jailed, just so you know what it looks like. So if we do actually try and release early the person we did actually jail, you'll see that it says they have been released from jail. And then if we go back to our main chat here, you'll see that there also is a notification for it up here. Then if we go to back to the ticket, you'll see that it says they were released early on the date and time and who they were released early by. So obviously this is incorrect. This is not supposed to say this. This should say two minutes instead of five hours and etc. So I'll have to go in and fix this. But if something like this ever comes up or if you are having issues and you can't figure it out, if you go back to the top.gg page and click on this button right here that says Jailbot Support, it will invite you to the Discord support server that we have for Jailbot. It'll look just like this. Just go ahead and go to the Create a Ticket channel and then hit the create a ticket button and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now the last command that I would look like to show you for this demo is the uh, slash start jail boat. I'm actually going to show you this command being run by Mr. Medicom Testing 2 who currently if we go back to our admin account and go to one of the main chats you'll see they have no roles and they should have no elevated permissions. So if we try and run the command slash start jail vote it'll ask for a member and a reason so if we give it the other testing account that we are not currently on you'll see that it works successfully without having any elevated permissions so the vote was created and sent to main chat so if we go over to main chat you'll see that here is the vote it is pending votes it is jailing mr medicom testing you have the reason votes required to pass expires in 30 minutes. React with a white check mark to vote yes. So if we go ahead and do this, you'll see that they were successfully jailed for five minutes. If we go back to our admin account for the server, you'll see that the bot command was executed successfully. And we do have a brand new jail ticket for that member. And instead of having the person it was jailed by, like we do on this previous ticket, it'll say the community vote for any ticket that was created from a jail vote. Now with all of these jailing methods, uh, they will be released automatically. So for example, this one will be, this person will be released in five minutes. This will happen automatically and I can show you what that looks like in a little bit. So you'll see them right on time at 5.56, they now have been released. So if we go to main chat, it will say that they were released from jail. They no longer have the jail inmate role. And if we go ahead and take a look at their account, you'll see that they have access to the rest of the server like everyone else. All right, you made it to the end of the video. Let's go. Do not subscribe because I post a lot of random stuff on here. Uh, this video is just a one off pretty much. Maybe like the video if you found it helpful. Um, yeah, have a great day.